You got three options. Hang there and I'll forget your cowardice. Fall and die. Or give up. But if you give up, you're out. This is Peter Rosenthal, head film critic for The Onion. Today I'll be discussing the new movie, Divergent, a sci-fi action adventure about a teenage girl fighting for survival in a futuristic dystopian Chicago who is seemingly unaware that her entire life and the entire world around her is a work of fiction and not real in any way. Set in a post-apocalyptic world fiercely divided into five factions by a government-run aptitude test, the film follows 16-year-old Tris Pryor as she attempts to outrun her destiny as a divergent, a concept that is frankly so fantastical and outlandish that virtually anyone in this scenario would have to immediately recognize that it's made up. And yet, Tris fights, runs, and cries like everything occurring to her is of the utmost importance one would assume that at some point in the movie she'd look around her surroundings and realize that real people don't dress like this and that modern society most certainly doesn't look like this. But Tris never does this and instead spends most of the movie utterly convinced her life is being threatened by sinister members of the rival factions. If anyone actually tried to do that it would obviously be illegal. Beyond that, it's absurd for this girl to ever think her life is actually in danger, primarily because she has to know that there are two more Divergent movies scheduled to be released, and she's the main character in both of them. Every single other character in the movie also appears so invested in their problems that they seem equally convinced that everything happening to them is actually life-threatening. I mean, think about it for a second. Kate Winslet is in this movie. That is a major red flag that this is all just make-believe but everyone insists on treating the Academy Award-winning actress like she's really some sort of serious threat, and like she's really the leader of the erudite faction. I mean, have none of these people seen Titanic? Ultimately, I think audiences will be left feeling almost sorry for the cast members of Divergent, because apparently most of these people are just so disconnected and so unhinged that they are simply unable to differentiate between fantasy and reality. Frankly, I have absolutely no idea how else someone could fall for any of this. I can only hope that in Divergent sequels, the filmmakers behind the movies will finally sit down with their cast and explain to them, in terms that they can understand, exactly what fictional storytelling is. If not for the sake of the audience, then for the sake of the sanity of everyone involved in this film. For The Onion's Film Standard, I'm Peter Rosenthal.